Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 60, our next to last video for FM20, and it, we announce our final youth intake, and it's not very good. It's just not very good. Sam Finch, the best player, left winger, eh, he could probably do some, bit, some bits, but nothing to write home about, right? I mean... Currently at a Vonorama National, which, you know, for a youth, I mean, that's expected. But I don't, you know, I don't see him getting good enough to ever play for us. So that sucks. On the flip side of that, uh, you know, our annual secondary youth intake, uh, we have signed several players. Uh, so we'll take a look at them. Uh, Dale Wynn, we get on a free from Manchester United as he was released. So he's a right back with four-star potential, 18 years old. So he'll be coming in. Uh, Hugh Fernandez from Liverpool, a left back with four-and-a-half-star potential. Man, it must be so bad when you can let four-and-a-half-star 18-year-olds go on freeze just because they aren't good enough to ever play for you. Uh, Nathan Brennan from Man City. Uh, he's also a left back. He has a little bit of work to do, but uh, I could even, well, if he was a little taller, I could see him being a pretty solid center back as well. But again, he's got some numbers, so he's positive. Lawan Castle, he comes out of Nottingham Forest. Don't know how they let him go. He's not great, but he's got, he's already got solid finishing, very pacey, and three and a half star potential. So those are the best youth prospect intakes that we got, and those are all frees. I don't know if we'll sign any of the younger guys, but anyway, let's get to the match. <laughs> So we are back. Next to last episode, we're playing Man City in the FA Cup semifinal and Leicester today in a Premier League matchup. And we are doing our best to bottle the end of the season. So we had gotten off to a good, we had, we had had a good run up here and then we started losing games. And it wasn't a, you know, it was a handful of games during the month of January. And then we suffered the, the draw fest through February and into March. And then of course, Man City beating us here 2-0. So that was last episode. Since then, uh, April has been a rough month. Man, Man United, a 1-1 draw. Uh, Marcus Rashford with their goal. We got the uh, first goal of the match uh, from Nunez and then gave up the late equalizer in the 87th minute. Liverpool beat us 3-1 to one as Ids got the only goal for us. And then Sheffield United beat us 2-1, to one, Ids scoring once again. And we let points slip away with a 94th minute goal there. So, things are not going well. I wanted to come to this particular screen. So, we are currently in 8th, two places out of Europe. And you can see we are in really bad form. Not as bad as Tottenham, uh, as they have tumbled with us. But we are now seven points off Newcastle's pace, who have won three of their five games and have not lost any as they have vaulted into European qualifying. We're even with Wolves on points. Only four points ahead of Chelsea for mid-table. Now, granted, we're not going to get relegated. So that makes this a successful season. But from where we were to where we are now, it's not good. So, so we are seven points adrift with five to play. I mean, we can make that up. We can make that up. We don't have the hardest run in. Leicester, Burnley, West Brom. Arsenal and Wolves are going to be difficult, but Leicester, Burnley, West Brom, we honestly need to win all three of those matches. Now, having said that, Sheffield United, I mean, they're, they're mid-table. That's a team that we should be beating. Just, uh, I don't know. All right, well, let's get to it today. Um, 
I'm not expecting much. It would be really great if we could somehow slip into the final and have a shot at silverware here in our last year. Uh, I'm not expecting it. I think Man City has, you know, we had that one great performance against Man City early in the season, but they pretty much dominated us. I mean, you know, let's let's be fair, right? <laughs> let's be fair. All right, we're going to go with our slightly more defensive tactic. We'll have Nunez and Ids across the top, Mitchell and Marinov on the wings, Coffey, Carraro in the mid, Serkin, Adaraboyo, Bellotti, and Asta on the back line, Gerard in the goal. Uh, we are without uh, Henderson, who is currently suspended for the next match. And, of course, you can see the people that are out of favor. Uh, La Quintana, I, I want to give him another match off, uh, you know, in the in the U23s to try to get some fitness back, coming back from a little injury. Patrick Berg just has not really figured in uh, at all, and we're still looking at seven weeks without Cherlinov. So that's where that stands as of today. Marinov just coming back from uh, a little injury as well. He had been injured, he had gotten better, and then got injured his first game back. That's how it goes, I suppose. But we are doing a bottle job here. We're going to ask for some creativity. All right, Sirkin, coffee, edge of the box. Crossed over. All right, there's Marinov. Deflected away. Back post, and it goes in. Mitchell, his fifth of the season. What? There ain't nobody in there. You don't need to go in the closet. <laughs> don't need to go in the closet. Yeah, you don't. You're right here. You're good. Come here. Come here. All right. Oh, good steal there by Marinov. He makes another highlight appearance. Good deal. Don't play with the ball. Don't play with the ball. Oh, there's a good one-two touch. Carraro across field. Ooh, that was dangerous. All right. I get nervous at times like this where we've got some pressure on us and they're just, you know, we're just playing the ball around the back. Because all it takes is that one screw up, like right there. God damn it. Oh, what a save by Gerard. But that's what I was fretting about. All right, headed out. Ids is on the ball and loses it. And how come they can do a touch there? on the sideline, you know, one of those touch, keep it in and then run out of play and our guy can't get to it. On theirs, it's like 100%, right? All right, Aska with a header. Gives our defense a chance to regroup. Oh my God, and another save. What a save by Gerard. Whew. All right, let's, uh, I'm going to make him a no-nonsense center back. Just get the ball out. There's a header from the near post, and it goes just wide. And we're holding on. Slim 1-0 lead in the 15th minute. All the highlights are going City's way, though. Look at that. I mean, oh, God. Wide of the mark. Um, I need... Oh, you know what? We have not... Uh, that has not gone into effect yet. All right, let's uh, demand more. Offsides. He had to have been offsides. Come on. They're going to VAR. I'm pretty sure he was offsides. He looked way offsides. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. He was in another county. All right, let's, we're still waiting on that to take effect. Really? Come on. All right, that should get it. All right, we've got tighter marking. I'm going to, I'm going to raise the pressing. 
even higher. I'm going to max it out. And there's a header from Gallo. His 15th goal of the season equalizes. Man. That is not good. All right, let's go for the creativity again. Come on, boys. We cannot get a highlight for anything here, huh? All right, there we go. All right. Okay, that wasn't great. Oh, good ball out. Marinov plays it. Oh, come on. We didn't have a foul there? Come on. And the counter's on. Oh, great pass into space. Squared into a group of three, and he pings it. Bernardo Silva, 19th of the season. I don't know. I don't know if Gerard got blinded there by a defender. Not sure. Oh, uh, he may have. Looks like Coffee may have blinds, blinded him. Oh, boy. All right. Um, I am going to go back to this tactic. I'm going to bring Pavlovich on to get rid of the yellow card. I'm going to be calm. Let's go with the revenge factor. Uh, the attackers, I want to be aggressive. Get out there and show everyone what you're capable of. The defense, I appreciate the effort. You've just been unlucky so far. And let's tell him to calm down. I don't usually do detailed talks like that. You guys know that, but... All right, I think I want to... I'm going to drop these guys back to fullbacks. And I'm going to drop and condense, see if that helps our possession any. I don't know if it will. I mean, you know, it's Man City. They're just better than us, <laughs> right? All right, let's show some passion. All right, ooh, a little bit of anxiety. All right, uh, Marinov. Do I have anybody else? Matty Cash. All right, we'll bring him in. And I think we're probably looking at bringing Mitchell off at some point. Let's demand more. Let's go to positive. Throw in. Mitchell. Oh. If we could have gotten it right past that one defender, we had a player there for a shot. Oh, we get done by. Oh, Raheem Sterling. There's just so many names on here. And the 21st goal of the season. Oh, my God. I mean, <coughs> at least the guys that are scoring are good. You know, it's not their first goal of the season, right? All right, I do want, because we changed tactics. Now, we're already pressing. I'm going to ask him to get stuck in now. I I don't know that that's going to, it may just be bad news for us, but by God, if we're going down, we're going to take, take them with us. Oh, Ribier, that's his second, right? Second of the game, 16th of the season. Well, it does not appear that silverware is in the cards. Still, this is this is farther than we expected to make it, right? Let's bring um, let's bring Vitasevich in. Well, I guess it says something that 
even here at the end of the FM20 life, I'm still getting frustrated with a loss. Over the top to Nunez, heavy touch, puts it in for his 21st of the season, 4-2. to two. Let's go attacking. That was a nice ball over the top. And that's going to be a yellow on Vitasevic. That sets them up from a dangerous spot. Off the bar. All right, cleared out. Mm. We haven't gotten that third here, so I think that's it. And we're going to get fined for six bookings. <laughs> only seven shots and only two on target. I think we had two shots in the first half, so five in the second half. And we still created four chances, just as many as them. It's just they scored all of theirs. God, that's... Uh, yeah, you guys did play well. I mean, for the level that we're at, the level they're at, there's nothing we could have done. We did everything we could. You know, and we get 1.38 million more. Finance-wise, that puts us over the 100 million mark in the bank. <clears throat> so, if nothing else, we've gotten the team to the Premier League. We have made them financially sound. In fact, they should be considered a rich club now. Yes, they are. Five. Good. We've raised the reputation of the club to three and a half stars, nationally known. I think we could, you know, we haven't won silver. Well, we, we have won silverware, right? We won League One. We got automatic promotion in the championship. No silverware. But I'm going to call this a successful foray with Forrest Green. I, I am. All right, well, let's get to Leicester and see if we can do anything uh, in the Premier League in making up the ground on Newcastle. All right, we're back for Leicester. We're going to go with our 4-4-2. I am going to dial it up to positive since we are at home at, uh, at Ashton Gate. Uh, Nunez and Ids up top. Mitchell Fisher back on the right wing. Of course, he couldn't play against Man City. Uh, Henderson's back from his suspension. Coffee in the midfield. You know what? I am going to... I'm going to put Berg in. I'm going to let Berg play. Serkin, Pavlovich, Bilotti, Cash on the back line. Gerard in goal. We're going to keep... Uh, our other midfielder there on the bench. I was actually looking at my strikers to see if I wanted to give Collins a start and decided not to. Ids and, you know, Ids and Nunez have been scoring well, especially recently. Oh, you got done. What a shot. And this is what I hate. You know, three, you know, four or five games left in the whole season, and this guy gets his second goal against is probably the second goal of his career that's pathetic let's drop back to balanced we're going to demand more building from the back there's a square into henderson it'll be nice to have him back because he was out we lost him for what four matches fisher good square Oh, good steal there by Cash. Dropped into Fisher. Oh, they're fighting, and it goes in. Who got it? It was Fisher with his ninth. Fisher and Ids both there at the post. The keeper flubbed the ball, and they make him pay. And there's the equalizer. That is fighting with your heart, boys. Fisher does pick up a yellow. Matty Cash picks up a yellow. And we have a corner. Back post, it's in. And it's Bilotti. His third of the season puts us up two to one. Good job. You know, I just realized my corner tactic is not... When you... 
when you switch tactics, I think I do recall that it wipes out your set pieces. Now my, my throws seem to be still working. It still seems to be the long throw. Uh, come on. But definitely the corners. I had I had the corners set to be a near post. Oh, there's a slide that gets missed. Another one. All right, maybe we need to work on that. Whoo, and that's wide of the mark. Looks like there might have been a, I don't know if that was a goal kick or a corner. Their guy was walking off for the ball. Oh, right into the wall. Oh, that's bad. And his third goal of the season. Great. Yeah, they, you know, probably their leading goal scorers. That's why they're down near the bottom of the table. And yet they're lighting it up like Ronaldo and Messi against us, right? Boy, boy, boy. Excellent efforts, you two guys. All right, let's push forward. <clears throat> I think we're already doing our max press. Oh, there's a good tackle. Cleared away. Nice. Don't sit on the ball. Because it's always you. All right, there's Berg. Henderson. Nice ball over the top. It's into Ids. And, ah, uh, come on, come on. All right, we're going to pull a, a sub here. Matty Cash for Asta. I don't think Fisher's going to be a risk to get, I mean, he's playing right mid. I don't think he's going to be at a risk to get sent off. I'm going to risk that. All right, let's pull uh, Mitchell for Uijan, let's go there. Come on, boys. Oh, my God. That pass back to the center is killing us every time. They're just winding up with a rocket. Good steal. Nice. Get creative. And we're going to make our last sub here. Looks like Sirkin. If we bring Uijan back, then we can bring Vitasevich in. And we'll do that. So that revamps the left side of our line. Look at that. Right at the top. Son of a bitch. Oh, my God. And we're going to, this is going to kill us. This is going to kill us. Two clear cuts. No, no. I'm not happy. No. Sirkin, you can be demotivated. I don't care. Don't care. That was that was crap. They're, they're, they're bottom of the table. And we just let them beat us. I mean, they lost 6-0 to Man City. I mean, they did pitch a clean sheet against Wolves and Southampton. Now, Southampton is... Bottom half of the table, more mid table area. Wolves are mid table. We're mid table. I mean, so they're beating the teams that they need to. But then they they lost to Aston Villa. Go figure. So they're clear of the drop now. We're on even footing, so everybody has four matches left. That was one that was a game in hand for us. We really needed that one. So now we need seven from four. That's pretty much impossible, right? Pretty much impossible. All right, well, 
we will be back tomorrow for the final episode of Football Manager 20. Arsenal and Wolves. We'll see where we're at. Don't forget, Saturday we will have a five-year jump ahead into the future, and we'll do it because I'm going to resign after tomorrow's match, after Wolves. We'll get to the end of the season. Uh, we'll get to the awards, and then I will resign and let them get a new manager in and start the transfer window and all that stuff. But we'll do a five-year sim ahead, and we will... Uh, at that point, come back Saturday, take a look at what the team's done, what kind of moves they've made, and just see how they've made out. Do they stay up in the Premier League? Uh, you know, have we become entrenched at this point? Or, you know, do they sell and go back down? You know, do they fall to League One within five seasons? Who knows? All right, guys, we'll hit that like button. God, today was horrible. Four goals and we lost both matches. <laughs> and gave up seven. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye.